Hello dear students, today we will discuss about checkout and settlement and checkout and settlement following are the modules for today's day. Express checkout, late checkout, late charges, unpaid account balances and account aging. Let's see what express checkout. Express checkout is a performed by the pre-departure activities help to reduce waiting time and delays at the front desk. Most front desk experience more checkouts usually happens 7.30 to 9.30 a.m. In many hotels, the guests may be informed express checkout services that we are there at the hotel and if you do like to avail the services they do can avail during registration process. The folio may be quietly slipped under the guest room between 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. so that no one can outside can tamper with them. Usually this happens early morning around 4 to 2 to 4 a.m. and including the pre-departure folio that the front desk normally distributes express checkout options which approves transferring the outstanding balance of the guest and readily imprint, imprinted on the credit card vouchers. When the guest leaves the express checkout from front desk and on his way out, in order to use express checkout system effectively on the front must be available, organized to appropriate the guest settle information during registration and the front desk must also take care, extra care to update room status when they check out. Usually what happens when the front office to fail to check out, this turn into sleeper where the front office up fails to update the room status that the guest has checked out. Usually this happens when the front office fails to update the room status. Likewise, express checkout, we do have self-checkout. Self-checkout lobby terminals in room computer interfaces with the PMS that is property management system that can reduce time to takes place in process guest checkout and significantly to reduce the front office traffic. Usually it will happen in the peak time. Like self-registration terminal, self-checkout, varying design, some resembles like automatic teller, machine, while others may process the video as well as audio capability. And to use self-checkout, one has to get access of proper folio and review to content and settlements can happen, it can be takes place simultaneously automatically assigned by credit card so long the guest presented during one on registration and the systems usually take responsibility and updating the room status and creating the guest history on by own. Late checkout, however, how effectively the front desk performs reservation process but we do encounter this late checkout and usually post this post the checkout during the posted time. To minimize the late checkout posters, one should ensure the checkout time notices in conspicuous places such as behind the doors or at the front desk or one need to inform that leaving, you know, during the registration process we do have late checkout charges and a reminder of the checkout time can be included during the express checkout materials and it can be distributed to the guest. Late charges and the major problem with the guest and account settlement it late charges a transaction requiring posting to a guest folio and does not reach the friend until the guest has checked out from the hotel. And restaurant telephone, usually late charges can include telephone bill, restaurant bill or any other IRD that is room service charges. These are the common examples and reducing late charges can essentially maximize the hotel profit. PMS is an integrated software which usually happen with the outlets where as soon as the guest avail the service it will automatically directly post it to the guest account and the PMS effectively can be used and minimize the late charges. Billing and collection, unpaid account balances, no matter how carefully the front office performs its function throughout the guest cycle there is always a possibility of the guest will leave without any settlements. It could be intentional or un unintentional. A skipper may be without no intention settling the accounts. Guests may also honestly to forget checkout when leaving. That could be called as a not checkout. The front office may discover late charges after the guest checkout, and which can lead to the loss of revenue. Collection of accounts under this again, guest accounts need not settle the checkout by cash or regardless like established credit card prepayment mode during the registration, which can be transferred. Usually what when someone has paid to uh, cash, it automatically transferred to the guest ledger. But one has availed credit card, it will be transferred to the city ledger as the guest 
check out. At the time, account leaves to control the front office become responsibility of following with the credit card details. That's the one who handles usually by the hotel's back office or either account department. And typically the city ledger contains, it could be credit card billing to be authorized by the credit card companies or either by direct billing to be approved by the company's individual and usually this includes tour operators, travel agencies, accounts or which has been included in third party skipper accounts with the guest who left the hotel without paying intentionally and disputed bills guests who have refused to settle their accounts guaranteed reservation that has no shows and retention charges late charges for the guests who have left the charges and where they posted to their accounts and the last one house counts, accounts or non-guest and the promotional accounts and in this apart from this we have management accounts Account aging. Account aging where the credit card billings are normally paid according to the hotel's contractual agreement with the credit card company. Where do they have a mutual understanding before the credit card company and the hotel? In this, most of the other city ledger accounts usually settle within 30 days. Usually, this happens as soon as the guest has used credit card during his registration process within healthy in one week or within no 10 days, the amount will be debited from the credit card created to the hotel account. In case, since some city ledger accounts may take longer time, more than 30 days to collect, then the hotel should establish method of tracking the past due accounts. This principle also refers to as account aging. Account aging analysis may differ from property to property depending on the rate of hotel credit limits in the effect. Account aging is typically monitored by the back office accounting division in larger properties or the night order in smaller properties. Hotel depend on their receivables to recover and operation cause mismanagement of aging statement in result of poor cash flow. An account aging in analysis it tells you identifies which account receivable 30 days, it could be 60 days and not more than 90 days. This fact shows long each receivable has remained uncollected and is also called as delinquent account. Here we have one uh, invoice of aging report. Here we can see invoice, invoice number, invoice the data which on the which has the data and the due date. Usually this tells on which the due date or of the particular account has to be collected. And it tells you it could be 1 to 30 days or 60 to 90 days or it is more than the particular day and which turns into delinquent accounts. Thank you and uh, stay tuned. We will see the next class.